Hey guys, what's up? So, for season 23, if people aren't aware, apparently stasis is going to be a big thing again. They gotta rework stasis and do another thing. So, here's a fun stasis build that works in pretty much all content of the game for just a major call out right now. This build works especially well against unstop and anti barrier. When it comes to overload, you need to have something to counter overload because overload's always a pain in the ass. But in general, this is the build. I'll just break it down for you. So we're using Horror Story with Collective Action and Discord. Discord don't really need, to be honest. It's more the Collective Action, which is your main aspect to this. And I'll get into a bit more detail why in a moment. Tessellation, if you don't know, Tessellation just goes with whatever subclass you're using. And every time you get a kill for it, it increases the amount of damage, oh sorry, increases the amount of grenade energy you get. And if you consume your grenade into it, Tessellation does a chunk of damage. And if you're killing about three or four more enemies, it will automatically retrieve that grenade again for you. And then the only other weapon is the Daminal Hip Strike Rod. You can change this for something like the Chain of Command or any heavy you want to use. The reason why I'm using this because of stasis again and it has chain reaction and field prep. One, I just shoot it on the ground and it's really good for ad clear. It is dangerous to use but so do be careful. I would recommend using chain of command or a machine gun overall to work with this build better. The main exotic that we're using for the build is the Optiomancy gauntlets. So this is the armor setup that I've gone with. We're using double stasis siphons using one heavy ammo finder so we can get GL ammo as much as we want fastball so I can throw my grenades faster we're using bolstering detonation with firepower uh, with grenade kickstart if you're going to pair this with firepower or hands-on don't bother it doesn't actually work as effectively I've done some trying out in some GMs and other content with this build obviously just don't worry these are the resistance mods I just use all three for this in general in variation stack on stacks better already i would recommend better already or recuperation recuperation is probably more the one to choose otherwise double bomber and powerful attractions so the design of this build is to also get your obviously rifts back as well as your grenades back so the whole point of it is to actually focus into recovery discipline and resilience as you can see i've got the triple hundreds going for this build but that's about it and then again, I'm going to explain why I'm pairing these weapons. Tessellation helps get your grenade back. Horror Story is a solid auto rifle at a 450 RPM. But this is the main thing. Collective action. Elemental pickups include fire sprite, void breaches, stasis shards, ironing traces, and strand tangles. A lot of people can create all of that overall within whatever builds they're using. But this build here is going to summon a lot of stasis shards. So the aspects to the build you will be needing to use and the fragments are right here. You want to be using Glacial Harvest. Freezing targets create stasis shards around them. The frozen targets, higher tier commands create more. So if you're doing a yellow bar in general, it's going to create about three. A champion, five, and that's about it. There's no difference. It doesn't affect bosses because stasis doesn't really affect any boss. Then ice flare bolts. So you're not actually needing turrets for the design of this. And with Optimancy, you've always got two cold snap grenades. So that's just the added bonus. Fro shattering of frozen targets spawn seekers that track freeze other nearby targets. So that's all you got to do. Freeze a target, break it. Freezes another two targets, break them. Freezes again. You're constantly freezing with this build. So nothing is actually moving. Unless your team is a heavy ad clear team and they're just nuking everything. This build will be perfect for you. Cold Snap Nade, because they work with Optomancy Gauntlets. Penumbral Blast, because that's the only one we've got. Burst Glide and Healing, these are just choice. And obviously Winter's Wrath. Whisper of Torment, so when you take damage you get grenades back. Whisper of Conduction, the nearby stasis shards will come to you. They'll track automatically from a distance. Whisper of Refractions, defeating slowed or frozen targets grants your class ability. So you can place more rifts and whisper of shards. Shattering the stasis crystal boosts your grenade recharge. Shattering additional crystals increase the duration of this benefit. 
So that's just the base design of the build, obviously, and just how it works overall. This is perfect for freezing a room into place. Perfect examples would be Devil's Lair, when the second part of the GM, when you're about four to 10 minutes in, that area there is majorly good with stasis overall. Pair that with someone who's using arc and this build increases itself better. Then again, any GM that has unstopped this G, this build works in. I do want to clarify one more thing. If someone is using strand, this will counter strand. And I mean like it fully counters strand. So do not use this when there are strand users around because you're not going to hear the end of them complaining. If it's a threadling build or a suspend build, or well mainly suspend builds, do not use this. But if they're using a threadling build, then this is fine. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to put out a couple more builds like this because it's the end of the season, preparing for season 23 for you.